All right, welcome back. So, um, we're just getting ready to make it take a trip to the island. I usually go to the island to get um, blueprints and stuff. So let's see if we get the message. Attention, lifebot 17, coordinates attached. It looks like the forward Seamoth Bay collapsed around me. Do not attempt rescue without laser cutters. Hmm. You'll only add to the body count, so I don't have a laser cutter. Sad. Hard. So we can't do 17 without laser cutters. We'll go ahead and um, drop it off because I can't do much about that. Let's see. One of the next messages is going to be about um, a rendezvous coordinate on a land mass. And it's south of the island. So we'll go ahead and. that. Oh. Maybe that's what... Okay, I kept seeing the blinking and I couldn't tell what it was. I guess it's the purple brain coral. That was just driving me nuts. So, there we go. Okay. That was driving me nuts. It was like I could see it and I saw it blinking but then it's like... I thought it was going to be like the life pod or something like that. Anyways, let's turn on the power. Let's see. The sea cows. Stinky sea cows. Well, those are floaters. They're not kind of... They weren't worth what I was looking for in the last episode, but... Right now, we're just going to go straight there and... Like, straight there, straight back, so that way I can get... The blueprints for the um, one of the rooms. I was really mad that they um, took out the multi-purpose room because it's like that's one of the basic things I use all the time, and so I can't not have the multi-purpose room. <laughs> but it can't be helped. Wow, that's cool. They're like the these are like whales, but they're they're different and they're bigger. This is like a baby one. Reminds me of like, um, we did a school class of, on I think trilobites, and trilobites were like ancient fish that weren't able to, um, a lot of the reason why they died, not only because of the radiation and being ate and everything, but um, like why there's so many fossils in Utah, like here in Utah. Um, there's a lot of fossils of trilobite because the sediment from the ocean would get on their back and it would form a, like a layer of mud and so they'd get heavier and heavier and then they would end up um, basically getting stuck on the ground or they either that they'd bury themselves in the ground like a... I don't think they'd do it like a squid but they would just end up getting buried and so there's a place in Utah where you can go and just get trilobites right off the walls because the can the canyon um, the Salt Lake used to be like the entire half of the country and then it just dried up slowly um, over thousands of years. Anyways, here's the island in all its majesty. It, man, it's gone through some rendition changes. I like this one though. It's interesting. It's more recent. Put that down. Let's see. Take a look around. Yeah, I think I might have broken my game, but I'll have to create a report for that. Sorry, I mean it, it's gonna happen. This is like the newer games. I'm, I'm just la I'm laughing that it happened on my first playthrough. I'm probably gonna have to like close the game and restart it. I haven't reinstanced it yet. So I'm trying to remember where to go. Where's because there's like a little path here. Oh, 
Um, we'll go ahead and walk around. We should explore. That's what we're here for. It reminds me of Castaway with um, Bruce name. Ah. Um. 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 Okay, so that it's still working. Sorry, I'm like trying to get my knife to work and it's not working, but it is. I'm gonna have to fix that. Oh, chalk that one up, eh? <laughs> Unknown worlds. Oh, I always find bugs and glitches and stuff. This happened, I think this happened because in one of the episodes when I was entering my life pod, I pushed one while I was getting in. And so it was supposed to unequip the um, sea glide. But since when I got into the thing, it respawned and in my hands. And so it glitched whether it was equipped or unequipped. So now everything's like kind of screwy. Oh well. Okay, so here we go. Here is someone's been here before me. So let's go ahead and scan that. That's not to it either. Required. Performing okay. self scan. Vital signs normal. Detecting trace amounts of foreign bacteria. Continuing to monitor. Hmm. So there's bacteria in me. I don't know if that's just normal. <laughs> Hopefully the game doesn't like degrade into a point where it's not playable. Scan, scan, scan. Because this is like really important for any base. Let's see. We got the Gazi. Okay. So, um, basically, I wonder if it tells you. Okay, so Altera, um,. The ship that we came in, we'll go ahead and do the plot right now. Um, the ship that we came in on uh, was sent here to save the Degazi, people who are called the Degazi. So, the ship before us was called the Degazi. I don't know if they were coming to this planet specifically. I thought they were like doing a slingshot around it from the story I heard. But basically, they got they crashed on this planet, and so we were sent to, as a search and rescue mission because they're a terraforming group. We're a search, search and rescue thing. Um, let's see. I'm just trying to see what like if there's anything important because a lot of this just talks about what each thing has in it. Um, Ours didn't have an all-environment all protective suit, and that's we're already wearing it. I had to make a radiation suit. Um, survival checklist. Aurora. It's just like engineers and stuff. Um, your operation. Oh, so I guess we're. Um, Oh, so we're going to go install a phase gate, and so, but another ship had crashed here, so we were just doing a swing around, um, figure out what was going on. So, let's see. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and do this. So, Paul, of the Degazi. So, Bart, I said no, your life is, is worth more than your vegetable patch. I forbid you to go out there in the storm, Bart. I stopped, I stopped needing your permission when your ship, the ship you were captaining was sunk. You will need to, Paul, you will need to stop, but you, you will stop needing my permission the day I, I'm not your father, Margaret. Say, chief, chief, what? Do you know how to drain those grow beds out of 40 tons of, of storm water? Or how to conjure up food from air? Don't be clever. No one likes a clever mercenary. I'm just saying, what's your boy's life worth to you ne today, next week? 
You're going to be so hungry that, that you start wondering what he tastes like. Let him go deal with his plants. Son, go deal with the plants. You, Bart. Bart is no longer in, in the, aboard the habitat. Interfere with my family again, and when rescue arrives, we'll leave you here, understand me? No rescue coming, Chief. Not in time. And no, no staying here, neither. The rain keeps falling. Sooner or later, this place will be buried. The only choice we've got is whether we get buried with it. Stay away from my boy. So there's some tension going Emergency. on with the Degazi. Severe dehydration so, detected. Seek fluid and take immediately. Scan that. Let's see. Alien artifact. I wonder where they found this and why they didn't mention it. But I guess they were busier with other things. Scan that. So it sounds like there's a hired mercenary with them. Or basically a soldier. Um, Vital signs stabilizing. And it's like there's something growing on that one. Come on, finish scanning it. There we go. <laughs> this looks goofy. This one, why isn't it moving? I guess it's stuck. Oh, it started moving. Okay, let's leave it alone. Take a look over here. Huh? Huh? Oh. After this episode, I'm gonna have to like reinstance the game and fix this because this is just too goofy. It's like a knife is floating mid- like, <laughs> the middle of me. Got a bulkhead. And that guy's stuck too. Go ahead and get out. Uh, there's a couple places I need to go. Um, I'll go up there. I'll c I, need, I need to come back and get those fruit things plant, like the food stuff. That's going to be really important. Um, just a word to the wise, don't go in there, you'll get stuck. I got, st like, I basically, when I was playing the game, um, when they updated it, the island, I went, walked in there, and it gets stuck, because it'll let you walk in crouching, but it won't let you walk out, and so you'll end up getting trapped. So, gotta work our way up here. Long way down. At least it's not nighttime. Nighttime it gets scary around here. But the sun is setting. Hopefully we'll finish this by the end of the episode. Um, I don't think they, I can eat them. Just drop that. I like how like there's just this rough edge, and you're like, I should. I want to take off my flippers just so I don't. Um, I think that Caution. should almost be a thing. Move detected. faster without flippers on land. Getting dark. Oh. No, it's not getting dark, it's eclipsing. Which, it's crazy how close that planet is. I wonder how the tides... Like, seeing the moon that close makes me think of the tides on, like, um, Interstellar. Um, Interstellar basically had, like, the moon, or had, like, one of the planets that they had was, that's offset. Um, the tides were, like, miles and miles high. It's like, oh no, those aren't mountains, that's the tide. So, I could talk about time travel, but I'm not, like, I'm not gonna even get into that. that that's gonna take a whole nother, like, three episodes to try to explain and how it's not a thing. <laughs> because it's, physics just doesn't allow for it. That's a, that's a whole other story. Let's go ahead and scan these, and then... Let's see. I need to pick them up. 
let me grab these. Good. Then I'm gonna need to. Vital signs stabilizing. As well as you. Yes. Ooh, a stasis rifle fragment. I wonder if, like, I think some of these appear at random. Because it's weird for it to be up here, I think. Anyway, so now we gotta go over to that other one. Um, they've added fall damage, but you have to, like, try to fall, because really you can kind of just walk down here along the ridge. So now it's gonna be sunset. I like how beautiful it looks now. It looks like actual like sunset would be. Anyways, maybe I should run. Don't know if I'll be able to get up here. Kind of trying to cheese it a little. I don't want to end the episode yet. Let's see. Huh. It's not supposed to be up here either. I think it's just random to the floor, like the floor of the ground underneath the island. But, but the island technically is floating, which is interesting enough. Water. Log. Go ahead and read it. Um, I messed up badly this time. Two days since what happened. We never should have left this island. I shouldn't have listened to them. We should have gone. We shouldn't have gone so deep. We're not wanted down there. They don't trust us. What? They? I knew. I knew it, and I didn't say. I could see it, and they couldn't. And now they're stuck down there. I'm up here alone. I deserve this. Huh. Okay. It's interesting that these are popping up here, because normally I have a problem with not being able to find everything I need. And now I'm having a problem where everything is being spoon-fed to me. Um, I can do this. Get something to drink. I need um, that. <laughs> so now we've got each of the fruits that we can head back. Um, in the next episode, I will head back to the. Um, gosh, I should have made a, a beacon before I came here so I could put a beacon on the island. I'll have to do that in a few episodes. Um, for now, I'm just going to um, pet here, and then we will go as we go. See you in the next episode.